But what we've got is this door sags like crazy. If you can see here, like it doesn't even, and then you can, it doesn't even latch hardly. So, and you can take this thing, move it up and down. The biggest problem is this door is actually broke right down here. It's broke there, as you can see, and there as well. Hopefully you can see all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this hinge off. We're gonna replace this hinge as well. And it's actually pulled out just a little bit from there, but we're not going to, I don't think we're gonna do anything with that. But I think what we can do is we can take, get ourselves a real thin piece of steel and we're going to weld that across this right here it's going to be like a flat piece i'm going to weld that in there that should get us uh, pretty close to where we need for this door to line up again then we're going to go ahead and replace this and the external door handle all right i forgot to mention the mileage on this truck 432,039 miles So, the handles on this truck are white. The only way you can get these is in black. Uh, this is actually not designed to be painted. It's not rough, it's smooth. But that's how the others are. They're smooth as well. So, we're going to, uh, per the customer's request, go ahead and paint this thing with a spray bomb. So I'm gonna try my hand at unsmoothing this thing just a little bit. And then we'll clean this up. We'll throw a little paint on there. It may or may not match, but it'll be better than black against white. So I'm gonna put you guys in high speed motion here and I'm gonna unsmooth this thing and um, Get this thing prepped and ready for paint. We're going to uh, completely restore this thing. So, high speed. That's unsmoothened enough. So let's go ahead, clean this all up. Get our flow gun here. Which the dog hates. Dog hates. that off then we'll go ahead and wipe that down with a little grease remover make sure that my oily paw prints aren't on there I use this I guess it's good got it from my local CarQuest store all right let's go ahead and wipe all this down all professionally like Yeah, we got a little bit off of there. How about that? Okay, now let's go ahead and completely restore this thing. I'll just go ahead and mask this all off here so that, you know, we don't get paint on unwanted surfaces here. I'll just mask that off completely professionally. Get this out of the way. Get our paint booth all set up here shake our paint that's the rust oleum paint plus primer bonds to plastic hey that's what we want
two minutes later. I don't know, something around there. Should be enough. Go ahead and Not gonna lie, that looks pretty good. I like it. We'll push this over out of the way, let it dry a little bit. I think I can put another coat on there maybe. Um, okay. Here after a bit, I might put another coat on there. I don't know, I mean that looks pretty good. I don't like to brag, and I want to remain humble, but I'm going to say that looks pretty good. Watch me screw something up here pretty soon. <laughs> I think we're just going to leave that just the way it is. Good. Let's not mess it up. More than likely, if I try to do another coat, I'm gonna create a run, so let's just stop. All right. It says to wipe the tip. We'll just wipe the tip off. Okay. All right, well, I'll be back in about 20 minutes when that dries. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna clean up a mess that I've got over here. Then, I got an oil change to do. That'll give that time to dry. Then we'll pull that truck in here. The other truck in here. The one that I'm working on. Whatever. The other truck. The, not the one with the oil change. The truck that gets that handle. We'll pull it in. And I'll put that handle on. And we'll get the glow plug replaced. And then that truck is ready to go. Meanwhile... While this is waiting, while this is drying, and while you guys are waiting, I'm gonna do an oil change. You know, it doesn't match real good, does it? <laughs> well, that's dirty. We're gonna call it dirty. It's dirty white. Eh, it's close enough. All right. So, let's uh, go ahead and I'll get you guys set up here. We're gonna go ahead and remove that handle and in order to do that we're going to have to remove the entire panel here which is not a big deal it's not that hard okay now let's go ahead and we we'll have to pop this little thing out here behind the come on pop out and that handle uh, there's one back here in behind here and just pops right out of there and okay this one here we're gonna go ahead pop that out of there and then plug all of this it'll make it a lot easier to take off you can leave it in there but it makes it a lot easier to come off this way Okay, there's that. Set those down in there. Okay, now um, we also need to pop this off of here. This just pops out of here like this. Come on. Serious? Alright, just pop that out like that. That um, comes from togetherness there. All right, now I need a 10 mil socket. Let's use the little quarter inch drive Milwaukee. One right go. And two back in here. Okay, those I'm gonna have 
after. Oh, need a magnet. Fish those out. Okay, now we have to pop this panel or this off of here first, actually. That just comes from together nose, I think. There we go. Alright, now. Get the big daddy. Come loose, please. Okay. Wrong, this should. Now just come right out of here. Oh, I forgot. Um. Need a needle nose. Bring you guys over here. Okay, so there's a uh, cable for the handle here. That we gotta get loose. Perfect. Now, set that right underneath you guys there. Okay, now. I believe we have to um, mm, come on this has to come out of here That's, uh, here I think actually we can Maybe pop this out of here if we're cautious enough. There we go. Okay. Let's just kind of let that hang down there. Okay, now we're going to. I think we gotta pop. Uh, I think we have to pop one of these out of here. That's there. Yeah, we're gonna have to pop this one out. Okay, now, should be two bolts if I'm remembering correctly and you wanna be careful to not drop these. my magnet long enough just barely okay now this one here This out of the way that stayed in the hole let's see if we can fish this out of here without dropping it there we go okay now now this handle should come right off of here I think there's another one there, is there? Nope, it's got a slide. So this thing has to slide to the one way just a little here. Now this 
this has got to come like this. Okay, now we're gonna have to pop this lock out here. I think I'm gonna leave that all hooked up, but we gotta pop this lock out because we have to reuse that lock. Lock is secured in here by a little steel clip. Come on. Okay, so that thing's coming out. All right, now, should be able to work this thing off of there just like that. Perfect. Now, as you can see, this thing here, we have to move that's what secures that in. So the other one, it should just slide right on in there. But let's clean all that off before we get it, put it back on there. Add a little cleaning power to it here. All right, now let's get our new handle that is nice and shiny and let's put that one on there. This is still a little tacky, but it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and put our lock back in there. This should just click in there. Yep. Well, that was dumb. Order of business was wrong here. <laughs> you guys were probably sitting there watching me do this and saying, you know what? You're dumb. This is wrong. Okay, there we go. We got to put the uh, this in here first because we got a the angle here. It's got to be able to spin her around. Okay, now. Okay, there. Now. All right, now, now we got to feed our bolts back into there without dropping them, which is probably going to be a Herculean effort. Okay, let's, let's just go ahead and Do a trick here that I learned from Rain Man Ray. Just put a little wiper in there, tear a little bit off, and uh, that'll hold that in there. So, let us see if we can get this thing in the correct spot here. Perfect. All right, now, do one more here. Tear another little piece off here. Okay, now let's see if we can do this one without dropping it. Okay. Point. Okay. Now, this should work like a charm now. Perfect. Okay. Now, Let's see here. Let's let's see if we can remember how to put this back together. Here's that. that. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get our panel back up here. 
And this should hook in, flip in. Okay. Now, all right. Hey, now. There. Now, that should be good. Let's get these wires up here before they get knocked out of place. Now, I think should be good to just pop everything back in place. Always sounds so painful. Battery died. Let's go ahead and put all our screws back in here. Tight enough. One more here. this up in here and pop this up in here click and bring this guy down actually you know what that thing's locked so let's unlock it pull that up There we go. Click. Yeah, perfect. Okay. This goes in here. Just like that. Click. And click. Now, this clicks down in there. Okay. We should be good. All right. That's what they wanted. All right. Now, we got to get our glow plug replaced well things have taken a decidedly different turn than i was hoping for um, i was going to include the glow plug replacement and repair in this video with everything else but i put the new glow plug in that did not fix it the code is still there there's a problem that's not the glow plug so I'm going to make a second video on that because that's going to take a little bit to diagnose, figure out. So I've already done, checked it out a lot, quite a bit, but I'm going to end this video right here and then we'll do part two on the glow plug repair in the next video. So stay tuned for that one. But I want to thank you guys for watching this one and would ask that if you don't mind going ahead, sharing this video, liking, subscribing to the channel helps me out a lot doesn't cost you guys a thing and i appreciate it until the next time i will catch you all later thank you for watching